here's Jen Santos and I will discuss all about kinematics and how it is related to our daily lives. It's the branch of classical mechanics that describes the motion of points, bodies, and systems of bodies without consideration of the forces that cause it. We have our instructor Rochelle Eugenio to illustrate us the science of free fall. At this moment, we can see that Rochelle is holding two sheets of paper. She crumpled the other one. We can say that the crumpled paper is a free falling object that is falling under the sole influence of gravity. Any object that is being acted upon only by the force of gravity is said to be in a state of free fall. Because free falling objects are accelerating downwards at the rate of 9.8 meter per second square, a ticker tape trace or dot diagram of its motion would depict an acceleration. The dot diagram at the right depicts the acceleration of free falling objects. The position of the object at regular time intervals says every 0.1 second is shown. The fact that the distance that the object travels every interval of time is increasing is a sure sign that the ball is speeding up as it falls downward. There are two important motion characteristics that are true of free-falling objects. First, free-falling objects do not encounter air resistance. Second, all free-falling objects on Earth accelerate downwards at a rate of 9.8 meter per second, often approximated as 10 meter per second square for back of the envelope calculations. Now, we can see that her shell is holding a circular object and she is throwing it upward while walking. Projectile motion refers to the motion of an object projected into the air at an angle. Another example of this is a ball being passed and a man doing a long jump. If there were any other force acting upon an object, then that object would not be a projectile. Thus, the free body diagram of a projectile would show a single force acting downwards and labeled force of gravity. Regardless of whether a projectile is moving downwards, upwards, upwards and rightwards, or downwards and leftwards, gravity acts to influence the vertical motion of the projectile, thus causing a vertical acceleration. The horizontal motion of the projectile is the result of the tendency of any object in motion to remain in motion at constant velocity. Due to the absence of horizontal forces, a projectile remains in motion with a constant horizontal velocity. Horizontal forces are not required to keep a projectile moving horizontally. Hence, the only force that is not required to keep a projectile moving horizontally is gravity. Projectile motion refers to the motion of an object projected into the air at an angle. A projectile is an object upon which the only force acting is gravity. There are a variety of examples of projectiles. An object dropped from rest is a projectile, provided that the influence of air resistance is negligible. An object that is thrown vertically upward is also a projectile, provided that the influence of air resistance is negligible. And an object which is thrown upward at an angle to the horizontal is also projectile, provided that the influence of air resistance is negligible. A projectile is any object that once projected or dropped continues in motion by its own inertia and is influenced by only by the downward force of gravity. To sum it all, the study of kinematics is often referred to as the geometry of motion. To describe motion, kinematics studies the trajectories of points, lines, and other geometric objects in their differential properties such as velocity and acceleration.
I hope you learned a lot in this video. Thanks for watching. That was the